How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? So it's late. It's about 8 o'clock, close to 8 o'clock, and I'm getting the bug. I'm getting the itch. I didn't do any thrifting today, so I'm going to go now. The interesting thing about this time of day is that everything's going to be picked over. So it's going to be a struggle to find anything. This location in particular, one I absolutely hate, the one that's closest to where I live, um, 50, 30 to 50 resellers come in there throughout the day. So the pickings is going to be slim. My drive time to get there is only going to be five minutes without traffic, but I'm getting the bug and come thrift with me. Let's see if we can find anything at the last hour of the store before it closes. Okay, here we go. Got just under an hour. You know, things you'll notice is I go, I blast right past the clothing. Shoes I will take a look at, but I'm gonna beeline to the carts. I wanna take a look at the carts first. I mean, it's approaching eight o'clock. I'm gonna give myself like an hour or less here. Uh, and I'm assuming that all of the resellers that come through the store have just like destroyed that area. So we'll hit the carts first. One of the things I notice is a Panasonic Palm Sight camcorder. Leather bag or pleather bag was in really nice condition. So we grabbed that and uh, took a look at it later. Good shape, I liked it. Glazed over the records a little bit. There was one in here actually, Grand Funk. Uh, it'll be coming up here in a minute. I should have taken a double double take on this one. Grand Funk Survival. Could have been 15, 20 bucks even more if it was a Japan import. I should have looked a little bit closer, but again, I have to pick and choose my battles because I don't have a ton of time. So we will move on. Really nice looking pair of Pumas, which I don't usually pick up. Um, and then I saw that. They're cleats. So they go right back on the cart. Whoops. Let's go grab that one. Sorry about that. But yeah, golf's, golf, uh, I don't do a ton of golf shoes and we're out of season. So let's see if we can find anything else. Campbell soup mug, tray, cute, but not worth my time. Shout out to the green feather boa. Not worth anything, cute though. It's a Rain-X, like bug and tar spray. Worth maybe five bucks, nothing there. Vintage Christmas ornaments, everybody should be looking for those. These were too generic for my blood, but they sell very well. Um, so I passed on all those. Here's a few that were already broken, but hey, let's go ahead and try and sell them for $4.99. Way to go, Goodwill. There's nothing much on that cart. Beautiful pair of Nike shoes. These would have been a no-brainer for me. Unfortunately, they had a condition issue, as you can see. So we had to put those back. Can you spot it back there? It's Waterford. Except only that's not Waterford Crystal. Bummer. Yo Nana's, I didn't even bother looking that up. I don't think that's a bolo. I passed on it. Over here to the appliances, which I do very, very well in. You can see if anything catches my eye here. I couldn't find a brand on that, so I had to put it away. Nice looking piece though. Still not catching anything. I liked what I saw here. This is a Kenmore vacuum. Now they had 20 bucks on it. I'm looking for a 
model number on the back. It was 116 dot, you know, 32 something, 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 something. These usually, for me, you can be they, you can break them down and they're not as bad to ship as some people uh, think they are. Uh, and you can also sell replacement the replacement parts. So we're gonna try to look it up here and I'll go ahead and put the the comps on the screen when I when I uh, when I'm done editing here. But um, there are a few reasons why I contemplated this but then passed on it. Uh, one of which is I didn't really see very many replacement part sales at all. There are 14, I think, currently listed that are similar or exact to this model. Uh, and seven have recently sold in the last 90 days. So I was a little bit torn and I did see a comp that had sold for 125 that was local pickup, but I wasn't ready to make a decision. So I let that bad boy sit for a second so that I can kind of mull over it as I go through all of the other, uh, all the other stuff there. Reseller couple in front of me, I see them often, out there getting their late night thrifting into. Sony remote with cables. I usually always look these up. This was RMT. I don't remember what the rest of the model number was, but you know, ten bucks on that. Really not worth my time. I didn't see the. I can't see the price on it, uh, but I'm sure they had the thing priced around four ninety nine because this is one of the stores that are, where their pricing is like completely out of control. This, by the way, is exactly how the store will look in the morning. There will be nobody there to organize it. This little RCA adapter. These were cool, but the list to sell ratio was not good for me. So I'm doing my due diligence here, but, uh, but I end up passing on it. Put her right back. So far, I like the I like the uh, camcorder that we have. It's all I have so far. There's a sharper image, a little dust buster. No value on it. I passed on it. These phones are a bolo, ladies and gentlemen. This one was very customized. It looked very, I don't know, jeweled, <laughs> bejeweled out. Um, so yeah, this probably wasn't worth anything at that point. A lot of empty boxes. Very high theft store as well. I think a lot of the uh, employees are turning, turning blind eyes to it too. Shoes, I usually always end up finding a, a good pair of shoes or two. These ultras would have been good. I wasn't satisfied with the soles, uh, but that's a decent pair of shoes right there. For whatever reason, I seem to do really well with like the blue-orange combo in shoes, and I see a pair of Asics down at the right corner there. Um, I don't end up getting them, but uh, that color combination seems to sell well, at least for me. Nikes look good on camera, but they were not in good condition, so we passed on them. Got a little area for shoes over here. Not much. Chucka style boots up at the top, but they were generic.
There's like pots, pans, home goods. Sometimes you'll see appliances, some glassware on the other side. You guys see anything interesting? I sure don't. And I, I, miss, I miss stuff often. Giraffe teapot was cool, had no value. He was actually missing, missing ears, so it wasn't even complete. Plateware is not my area of expertise. I should spend more time here because there may be some value sitting on the shelf, but at this time of night, I got to go with what I know. Now, if we had been a couple of weeks earlier, these Halloween cups are pretty cool. I like them a lot. Unfortunately, that time has passed for an item that you'd have to hope that somebody would just buy because they're cute, not necessarily a bolo. That looks like an LOL surprise container with no LOL surprise inside. Lady in the tram. That might have been a bank. I don't know. It was in bad condition, though. See any cool mugs or glassware? Surprisingly, that area was well organized. This store is usually always a disaster. Uh, this is a North Face, I think, Hot Shot is the name of the bag. This would be a good bag, a good pack, but it was in really, really poor condition. I don't know if that was soap in there or detergent. I don't know. It was really marked up. So had to let that go, as did whoever else had it in their hands at the time. We'll move on to toys. So we're in the fourth quarter and, you know, new sealed items are going to sell well. So I, I will look at those more often. Here's a very good example of it, this little Frozen 2. Um, I don't know if it's an art kit or what. Um, but I will sacrifice a slightly less desirable return on investment for some of the new newer items. Again, if they have sales data to back them up because of the fourth quarter and the fact that you know new probably gonna sell a little bit better than your used items. But I put this back just because I didn't, you know, 15, 20 bucks to, in, in, you know, with a $5 cost of goods to me, that just wasn't worth it, even though the pictures would have gone really quickly and they're, you know, it's obviously easy to ship. I just passed on it uh, in this instance. The thing had been marked like $2.99, I might have thought a little bit different. So it's interesting how a $2 difference can uh, be, the, uh, be the difference between me getting something and me not. Just the, just the mood I was in at the time. They have like a lot of larger items over here and then plush, so we're gonna take a look at this item here. I noticed a marquee by Waterford box, so that could have been some nice crystal in there. That is not nice crystal. 
So I was opening that to see if maybe I could find what, what was supposed to be in there, but that little red glass handmade hat, uh, that was not it. This is one of those you know it when you see it moments. <clears throat> that little uh, little tykes party kitchen. Vintage and it's in excellent shape. It's got a little old school phone on the other side. And I'm trying to do comps in the store, but really I knew it when I saw it. There was nothing much to look up, so I may have been typing it in incorrectly. I might have used uh, some incorrect keywords because the comp that comes up on my phone is for the dollhouse, so I'm looking at that and it's saying 10 bucks and I'm going, yeah, that can't be right. Um, but that's the little miniature version of it. Um, but yeah, sturdy. Those things have always been well built. I sell a good number of the large items. I'll actually do a shipping video on this. Uh, I know a lot of people have asked for that, so we'll, we'll show you how this thing breaks down and how I ship it. But that bad boy's going in the cart, for sure. That's a home run. There's the other side. I love it, I love that piece. That made the trip alone worth it. We gotta go check the plush real quick since I missed that the first time. There's a $30 chalkboard slash easel right there too. Fisher Price Little Tykes, I don't remember. That, that uh, if the price was right and I had been moving slower, I should have grabbed that because that's an easy $30 on Marketplace. <clears throat> Here's a Rainbow Dash, Build-A-Bear. There's like 280 of those listed. Only 30 have sold in the last uh, 90, 90 days. So that, that is no longer a bolo. I've sold a few of those in the past, but I've learned not to pick those up anymore. Shout out to Dora over there in the corner. Lo hicimos. Squishmallows are doing very, very well. This is a uh, raccoon. I forget what his name is, but... Uh, um, yeah, my daughter loves these right now. Both daughters actually love them. But um, there's no money in this little guy right here, so we're going to put him back. Uh, but the large, the very large Squishmallows, there's a lot of them that are that are uh, selling for a good amount of money. So anytime you see a Squishmallow, make sure you do the, do the comps. So right now we're looking pretty good. Nice piece of glass there. I didn't know what to make of it though. Here's Trinketville. Again, another area uh, that I do not necessarily do well in. So I'll, I'll always take a, a glance. I noticed this guy without a head. I guarantee you he didn't have a head before he went out and they popped him out there anyway. Again, this staff is notorious for doing that. What am I missing? Let me know in the, in the comments, chat, if you guys, chat. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, this is not live. Um, I've been watching way too much, uh, gaming on, gaming streamers on YouTube. Nothing going on on both ends here. Every now and then I'll check the baskets because, you know, it's, I'll be looking for longer burger. They were headquartered here in Columbus, so we do see a good amount of it, but uh, there were none in this instance, and of course the store knows about it, so when they see Longer Burger, they slap $25 on a little uh, six by six basket. Go back over to the electronics. This guy was there for probably a half hour testing something. I wasn't paying enough attention to figure out what it was, but he was, he was really interested in getting something to work over there, so. 
I'm checking the comps on this fan, but I don't end up uh, doing anything about it. I didn't see anything that made sense to me. Little piece right here, this iRobot item. Looks like a, like a, ba a battery that t talks to one of those, you know, those little floor cleaners that you see uh, people's children riding on in all of the TikTok videos. And they also double as uh, floor cleaners. This, this looks like a useful, a useful uh, item. So I ran the comps and I really liked the list to sell ratio. So I end up getting it. It was not, it didn't have a price on it. So the lady gave it to me for $1.99, which I thought was fair. I think I'm gonna shoot for maybe 20 bucks on this. But yeah, I like that item there. So I mean, I got three core items right now all together that uh, have made the trip worth it at this point. So I'm pleased. All right, so if I'm doing my best math and I sell that party kitchen for 120 bucks, the iRobot adapter for 20, and then the camcorder and all of the components and accessories for 50, we're just short of $200 for under an hour. I mean, that's what it's all about, especially since I didn't get any thrifting done yesterday, so I was feeling guilty, kind of getting the itch. I wanted to get out and made it happen in under an hour. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. So a worthwhile trip. I really appreciate you coming along. Did, did I miss anything? You guys see anything that was interesting? Let me know in the comments. Um, leave me a like on the video if you liked what you saw. And again, make sure you are subscribed if you want to see more content like this. Uh, and I always appreciate having you. So Brendan here, Dad Planet. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Yeah, appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.